Dave Prouse here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change a server console's resolution and font type and size. Now, if you're working in a server that's just command line only or just console with no graphic user interface, a lot of the times the resolution is difficult to uh, read and the font size is too small. So I'm going to show how to change that on a Debian system and then at the end a Fedora system and we change this by modifying Grub. So I'm working in KVM here and I have a virtual machine set up already. So I'm going to turn that on and boot into it. Go to full screen here. And if we go into this virtual machine, and by the way, my monitor for recording is set at 1280 by 720 uh, resolution, so 720p. Now you can probably hardly see this text. So essentially I'm at the login screen and I'm logging in now. And what I want to do is make modifications to this. So I mean, this is just too small. If I'm working on a console directly, whether it's in a virtual machine or a physical machine, it's just too small, too hard to read. You can make it out, but it's very difficult. So the first thing is to change the resolution and the second is to change the font. So I'm gonna reboot the system and get into Grub. And when it gets to the splash screen, we press C to get to the Grub command line. And from here, I'm going to do something first. I'm going to set it so it only shows one page at a time. So I'm going to do a set pager equals one. And then I'm going to do VBE info. I want to see what resolutions this system can support. So we'll press that. And you see we get the more option here. And that's what we need so that we're not just seeing a ton of information at once. That's why I set the pager to one. By default, it's set to zero and it just shows all the info in one shot. So you can see some of the resolutions here that we can select 640 by 480, 1024 by 768. Um, if I hit the space bar, we'll get a bunch more here. And since I'm recording in 1280 by 720, that's really what I want. And let's go a little further. And there we go. At the bottom of the screen, you see we do have 1280 by 720 and at 16 colors or 24 colors or 32 colors. So we can select that. We will be able to select that within the Grub configuration and then it'll run at 1280 by 720. So I'm gonna escape out of that and we'll type normal to do normal boot. Go back into the system. Boot that back up. We're gonna see this terrible font and resolution. I'll log in again. And so now we want to modify the grub configuration file. I'm going to do that with a vim slash etc slash default slash grub. That's slash etc slash default slash grub. Press enter and you'll see the configurations here. So a couple things we have to do. First thing is I want to change the grub command line Linux default from quiet to no mode set. That's no mode set, all one word, in quotes. And then I'm going to create a new line that says grub underscore gfx payload underscore Linux, and this is all caps, equals and the resolution that I want. So you can uh, work with different resolutions and you know, you may need to do some testing with this to see what's best for you. For me, for this virtual machine, 1280 by 720 is what I want because that's the resolution that I'm running at on this monitor. And that's what I'm rendering as for this video. And honestly, that's what I do quite often. I'll run 1280 by 720. So we'll check that, check the syntax, make sure it's correct. Escape out, save it. And then we need to update the uh, grub configuration file. So with Debian, we'll do that as update grub. Other distributions of Linux will have a different command. But for Debian, update dash grub, press enter. Okay. 
and then we're going to do a reboot and see how it looks. Notice how it's filling the whole screen now. And in fact, the font looks much better. In fact, we could get away with just using this if we wanted to, but it fills the whole screen perfectly. And I'll demonstrate that. Just logging in, do an IPA to see the IP address. Uh, let's run the top command and you'll see it fills up the screen here. And if I press Q to quit, I'm at the very bottom line, it's filling the monitor perfectly. So we're making the best use of the real estate and it's much easier on the eyes. But the font type is still pretty small. So I want to increase that. I'm going to clear the screen. And for Debian, what we're going to do is a DPKG dash reconfigure space console setup. And this is installed by default on Debian. Other distributions may not have it. You may have to install the console setup. But that's the command, dpkg-reconfigure, space, console-setup. Press Enter, and that'll bring us into a tab-delimited configuration screen. I'm leaving the encoding as UTF-8. I don't normally change that. So I'll press Tab and OK. I'm going to leave the character set. Now for you, you might choose to change this, but I'm going to leave it as the default and press OK. And then here we have the font type for the console. Fixed is OK. It looks pretty good, but you may want to do some testing here and see what works best for you. For me, the best choices are usually Terminus and Terminus Bold. I'm going to select Terminus Bold, tab to OK and press Enter. And then you can choose the font size. And my favorite for doing demonstrations is 11 by 22. But you might want to go a little smaller just so you can fit more content on your particular screen. And that's all going to depend on what resolution you select. I'm going to select 11 by 22, tab to OK, press Enter. And that modifies the font automatically, as you can see at the bottom of the screen. Clear it. And look how beautiful that is now. It is a great console to work in. Now, a lot of the times I'm SSHing into the server, so it doesn't really make a difference. But there are many times where I will be working at a server directly on a physical box, and it just picks the weirdest resolution for the monitor you're using and the tiniest little font. Or there's a lot of times where I'm working with virtual machines, and I have to do work on them before I can SSH in, and uh, this really helps to view everything a little bit nicer. And that's it. So now it looks real beautiful. If we do it the top command, we've got plenty of nice information here. I like the Terminus bold, and I like 11 by 22. But again, it's your choice uh, what you want to use. So very clear now. Let's take a look at uh, Fedora and just show that real quick. It's pretty much the same. But we'll grab that guy. Let's uh, find a Fedora guy here. Oh, I have a template. I'm going to clone that. And again, I'm just working in uh, KVM here. Clone him real quick. And boot him up. Who knows, maybe I've already changed this for the template. I don't remember. Let's go to full screen here. Boot up Fedora. This is Fedora Server 32. And by the way, and I did change it. I already changed it to 1024 or uh, 1280 by 720. So it's basically the same process though. If we do a vim slash etc slash default slash grub, we'll see the configuration file. I've already set this to no mode set on the template, and I've set that same line grub gfx payload linux 1280 by 720. So that's all the same as Debian. And one difference is when you want to save those changes and make those changes ready for Linux within Grub. On Fedora, we would do a grub2-dash 
make config or mk config I should say so a little slightly different command in Debian and Ubuntu it's update dash grub if you're on the Fedora side of things grub2 dash mk config but that's already done now if you want to change the font it's slightly different in Fedora we'd have to do a DNF install of the console dash setup okay that may take a moment because it's going to look for updates and I'll just fade out and come back when that's complete actually that didn't take long at all uh, and I did already install this but by default uh, if you're using Fedora Server 32 it's not installed by default so you have to do a DNF install console dash setup then you can modify the fonts once again you can modify the fonts this is a little different it's going to be slash etc slash default slash console setup and I've already done that I've done the same font face you could do it as fixed if you wanted to Again, you could do this as fixed if you wanted to. I like terminus and terminus bold. And then for the font size, put it in quotes. And then you can do some video mode uh, work from here as well. And then that'll save automatically. I'm not saving this because I already changed the uh, font. But uh, that's basically how you do it on the Fedora side of things. So a little bit of grub changes there so that you can modify your resolution to fill whatever resolution it is that you want in the virtual machine or whatever resolution it is that you want to match your monitor and what you you got to make sure that your monitor can accept it and that the virtualization system can accept it that's why we run that VBE info first to see the possible resolutions that are available to us all right so a little bit of resolution modification and uh, font change on console systems on servers this is for servers that have no GUI and generally if you run a server you don't want a GUI you just want to be running in text so that there's no GUI environment uh, using up resources or causing conflicts or what have you so this is not for systems that have a GUI that have a desktop environment we don't need to make these changes here we would just do that in the graphic environment although you could make these changes um, you never know sometimes you might want to go into a system that has a desktop environment and you have to actually access it in console only mode for whatever reason so then you could make those changes as well uh, but generally with the GUI side of things you don't have to do these uh, make these changes this is just for uh, servers and console only or command line interface only so that's it for this video, and uh, see you at the next one.